when you look at open source world, you know, it, things come up, you know, as an alternative to something that exists. But Kubernetes, the case was totally different. There was nothing that existed. At the same time, you know, enterprises are like kind of hesitant in adopting these kind of technologies. So what magic happened with Kubernetes that, you know, it, suddenly everybody is behind it? And it's like only four, less than four years or yeah. whatever. Yes, uh, I, it's, it's true. And it's something we were very concerned about at the beginning of Kubernetes. Uh, you know, who were we targeting? What were the use cases we were willing to try to tackle? Um, and how did we think we could get adoption? So one of the big important strategic things that we did was we didn't start with a big drop of code from Google, right? Let's open source Borg. Well, that's millions of lines right. of code that nobody would be able to decipher that really wouldn't be useful. And I don't think it would have gotten uptake. We had a lot of arguments about what language should we write this in? Should it be C++ or should it be Java? Should it be Go? Um, we decided that you know Go had a really nice community around it, had really nice tools, um, libraries, and uh, most importantly, Docker had been written in Go. Mm -hmm. And so there was a community in this space already. Uh, we'd like to tap into that. Um, and that all talks to a little bit to how developers approach it, but how do, how do you get into enterprises? Well, you, you don't at first, right? The first few works, workloads that we targeted were stateless. They were web servers. Um, they were startups. We did a lot of touring around Silicon Valley, talking to startups um, about how Kubernetes could maybe make their lives easier. Um, and there was a lot of reluctance at first, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. um, people, you know, they don't want to bet on a new horse. They, they don't want to get in. They don't want to be the first consumer. Um, and I think what was really a huge leg up for us was some very early adopters um, like uh, Box, right? right? Sam Godes from Box uh, came to one of our really early meetings and he took a look at what, you, what we had done and he said, you guys are crazy, but I want in. Mm -hmm. And he stepped up and he helped us rewrite our command line tool and really said, Box is in. Like we're, we're committed to making this work. Um, and they've been a great partner ever since. And uh, as you know, sort of a high tech, tech forward enterprise, um, they've been they've been an awesome example of things you can do with mm. Kubernetes, and then from there it becomes a snowball, right? Right, right, right. Little little enterprises, and then sort of more um, technology focused media companies, especially you know web centric right. sorts of things. And then before you know it, you're talking to banks. 